right, that wasn't too bad. All right, that was pretty good, pretty good. Got some hand claps in there. Got some big strokes. Ooh, yeah, look at that big. Look at that big. And, uh-oh, uh-oh. Used them all up. Oh, uh, that was one little one. Ah, there was one. Oh, man, I'm trying to get my fingers towards the microphone. That's why they're off camera. So, you know, I can impress all my friends that like to hear my knuckle cracks, but then scare all my friends who don't like my knuckle cracks. Because they're all like, oh my God, you're cracking all those joints. Oh, my joints can't handle that. And I'm sorry. I truly am sorry, but you know, it's all part of the video, so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to continue on. <laughs> so, what are we doing here today? We uh, kind of chilling here. We had this little stormy storm a while ago. Uh, we're not going to go into all the details of that, but <laughs> let me tell you. I That's saw, already been covered in the last video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check out the uh, Lay's Deep Dish Pizza video. And, yeah, I talked about the storm. It was just a wall of rain coming right at me. A thousand miles an hour, man. It's tornado time. <laughs> All right. So, what do we got going on here today? Got another one of the taste tests. So, Big John. Yeah. What all are we taste testing today? Wait, hold on. Let me get a set up here. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, man. Let me see if I can do this without losing you. Oh, yeah. You see my single man again. As usual. Alright, there we go. Here's Big John. He's right there. Alright, Big John, what do we got? Hello, America. Alright, so today, to go on, <laughs> to go along with that deep dish pizza chip taste test, we're gonna do a little drinky drink, a little beverage time. Drinky drinks. Yeah, oh, regular, regular drinky drinks. Oh, no, dope beverages. Wait a second, what is this blue stuff? Hey, it's a blue drink. Oh, what the heck. And it's Dad's old-fashioned blue cream soda. Blue cream soda. Dad's. Right. Yeah. Those of you who are, oh, I don't know, like over 40, probably remember Dad's root beer. Growing up, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I do. I love dads. Anyway, they've branched out and over the years and have made many, many different flavors of soda. And today, I've never had this particular these particular flavors that I have available today. This one, the blue cream. I'm uh, <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like. I have to get it, if for, no, if for no other reason than to just bug the hell out of Norm. <laughs> it's that blue raspberry. Because y'all know blue raspberry is good. <laughs> yeah, so I had to get that. And uh, I don't know if it's going to taste like blue raspberries or not. It better not have to taste like blue raspberries. Probably will, though. Because there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. <laughs> yeah. It'll taste like blue though. Whatever blue tastes. Blue like. tastes good. Huh? <laughs> oh. It smells uh kind of fruity. It smells like blue. It smells like blue fruit. Uh -huh. Blue fruit. What's the blue fruit out there? Blueberries. <laughs> but are blueberries really blue or are they purple? Alright. I don't know what they would call them purple berries. What do they call them blueberries? Because, I mean, they are purple. Well, <laughs> that's a good question. I suppose that's a question for, for Mother Nature, not me. The, the person that, they, <laughs> that came up with the name, yeah, I'm going to call these purple berries blue. Yeah. We're going to call them blueberries. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, uh, this would be better if it was cold. I forgot to set them in the freezer for a while. It's very good, and yes, it does taste like blue raspberry. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. ah, so mission accomplished on that. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Wow. 
Thumbs up. Did you see that? No. What? They raised twenty million since the vice presidential candidate announcement. I wonder how long that's been. That was earlier today, right? Today. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Kamala Harris has uh, picked uh, the uh, governor of Minnesota as her running mate. But well, wait a minute. This says former governor. Oh, no, this guy's a former governor. Never mind, yeah. never mind. I the thought, like, wait a second. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, no, no, this says he's a Republican. <laughs> former Republican. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> See? Well, that's why uh, you got to read things. You got to yeah. understand what you read. Yeah, you got to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so did you give it a rating? Yes, I did. I, right. was, I was in the middle of that when you oh, my bad. pointed out the... Uh, the former Minnesota governor, that's a Republican. That's yeah. not running with Kamala Harris. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 100% thumbs up. Big John likes it. Dad's blue cream soda. Nah. Mm -hmm. So, moving on over this way. And you guys can go see my ceiling fan again. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get us a try. So my, What's it smell like? Oh, wait, hold on. It smells like blue cream. Yeah. Well, actually, it smells like cream because blue has no smell. Yeah. It smells like cream soda. Yeah. yeah. That's blue. Oh man, I might pour it too much if it tastes like blue raspberry. But here we go. Well, it smells tasty enough. Mm. Tastes like cream soda. Yeah. Hmm. But you know what? I still have some of the flavor of the deep dish pizza in my mouth. <laughs> so I'm getting a little bit of both. Uh -huh. But the Dad's Blue Cream Soda, pretty tasty. Yeah. Like, I will buy cream soda. I don't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah. So I would it's, buy it. It's nice to have every now and again just to break up the monotony. Yeah. Change the pace. Holy smokes, this has 200 calories in it? Yeehaw. <laughs> Giddy up. Yeah, no doubt. It's got uh, 49 grams of sugar. Good gravy. Woo, 49 grams of carbs. <laughs> my wife's got 200 calories. That's how I keep my, uh, my, my wonderful shape here. <laughs> By having so many calories right before I go to bed. <laughs> No, two, your boyish figure. <laughs> 200 calories is just gonna, you know, sit there with the other 9,000 calories I ate today. Uh, don't do that, people. Don't don't take in 9,000 calories. You know, take in your daily allowance of, you know, 2,000 and be happy. And then that way, you can stay like, you know, regular you instead of like big you, like you know, big norm here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> with all that. Let me give it a thumbs up. That was tasty enough. All right. All right. That, yo, you know what will go good with this? Besides ice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I got it right here. Wait, where'd it go? Here it is, here it is right here. Got some loss of tip dip. <laughs> you pour some in the glass. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, no, no, probably like some, some vodka or something. We'll probably go good with this. But, you know, like, we're not getting wasted here tonight. Yeah. I got to get ready to go to work tomorrow. Vodka goes with everything. <laughs> right. It does mix well with pretty much everything. All right. Although, I'll try it with the uh, rum there. We got it. We oh. got it sitting there nice right. and handy. Hold on. Be right back. And with the magic, or with the, yeah, with the magic of the pause button, we're back. And you missed it. <laughs> I just had the big norm burp test. And it was like, bruh. From this dad's blue raspberry. But here we go. I uh, have Big John over here. Oh, look out. Hold on. You don't sit Big John out like that. Bacardi. He's got his Bacardi. Blue. Blue cream. And the mixologist. Yep, he takes is over. The mixologist. Now I'm going without ice. Sans ice. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's strong. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't smell any blue cream there. I don't, I you probably the, smell wrong. <laughs> I smell the wrong over there. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Ah, smooth. <laughs> yeah, hear that voice. Whoa, <laughs> smooth. No, it really is. Yeah. It really is good. So, but, yeah, well, that gives a thumbs up too. All right, some blue cream soda from Dad's, along with some Bacardi. Yeah. Uh, my favorite version of Bacardi is Bacardi Lemon. That is mm. really good. I remember the first time I had it, I was at the, this job. They're no longer in business. Uh, or maybe they are in business, I don't know. But the name of the place was Allen Telecom, right? So. I was at work as a temporary there, and one day, it was a Friday, during lunch break, everybody like left the building. I was like, what the heck? Where's everybody going? Why's everybody leaving? So they all left the building to go to the liquor store. <laughs> I was all like, I gotta, I gotta go to the liquor store. Well, that's so, the way to work. <laughs> all these guys come back, and they got like pints, and you know, like whatever size bottle this is, I don't know what size bottle that is. But then I'll come back with all these bottles. And this guy comes back with, you know, a pint of Bacardi Lime. He's like, you ever had this? And I was all like, no, I, I never have. But he's like, here, try this. I was all like, uh, all right, you got, you got a cup? He's all like, man, just drink it off the bottle. Yeah. I'm all like, I mean, do you got something I can mix it with? He's, then he's looking at me like, <laughs> if you don't drink that. And I was all like, uh, uh, all right, peer pressure works. So I, I took me a little swig and I was like, whew, oh man, that's, that's not bad. It'd probably be better if it was cold and mixed with like, I don't know, Coke maybe. Uh, not cocaine, Coca-Cola. You know, something to mix it with, some orange juice maybe. But, you know, I give him back the bottle. So then he proceeds to take that bottle and chugs it all. Oh, damn. And I was all like, get out of town. So he just slams it back. Oh, and then, man. like, I'm looking at all these people that are just slamming all these bottles at, at work. And I was like, what the hell kind of job? <laughs> this was a, this was a, back in the, the early 90s, and we used to make the back power. people didn't work? No, no, no. <laughs> but we were building a, the power supplies and antennas for cell phone towers. Uh -huh. So, you know, like. This is back, you know, when it was one, I don't even think it was 1G then, you know, but it was like back so, in the early stages of these cell phones. So, so you when, didn't have to be sober in order to complete your job, your tasks, so. But, no, I mean, no, you did, but, like, these guys were just pounding them back on a Friday, and I was just all like, man, what the heck is going on here? So this guy drinks that bottle, then he goes into the plant, and then he just sits in between a couple of shelves and takes a nap. And I was all like... <laughs> I mean, we only get a half hour for lunch, and this guy's like, just chucked a pint of, you know, rum, and he's just chilling, and all these people were doing this. And then uh, I was cracking up, because uh, this one guy, one day, uh, he, he drank some Mad Dog 2020, oh, God. and I want to say it was great. He yeah, had some great was... Mad Dog 2020, and yeah. he went just crazy, and it was so funny, because he goes... Like, some of the co-workers were telling him, hey, go into the bathroom, throw some water on your face. You know, like, you know, get get back to being right. Stop acting like you wasted. He's all like, I ain't wasted. Then he runs into the bathroom, like, literally runs into the bathroom. And then he throws some water on his face, and he comes back out. I told y'all I wasn't drunk. I ain't drunk. I don't know what the heck you're on, All right, so why are you being so loud? Why are you drawing attention to yourself, talking about how you're not drunk? Because now you really look and sound like you're drunk. Go back in the bathroom. Y'all, man, y'all tripping out here. Ain't nobody drunk. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Got super loud. Oh, my goodness. And then, so, some supervisor comes by. It's all like a, I was just going to say, so, so where's the boss in all of this? <laughs> yeah, supervisor comes walking by a little later. Like, hey, you know what's going on? And then, uh, this is like the first time I ever saw anybody that was outside, that was of a higher rank than a supervisor. Like, HR comes out. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, they got HR here. So they come out. I bet they did. <laughs> they come out. And so they tell this guy, all right, you just sit right here while we call an ambulance. So they call the ambulance up and they took a man and gave him, you know, some sort of blood test or oh, breathalyzer or something. 
And of course he was wasted. He was terminated. And you know, he's the whole entire time. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. Why y'all thinking I'm drunk? I'm just a little loud today. Dude, you are never loud, <laughs> for one. And you are obscenely, excessively loud for no reason. And even if you wasn't drunk, that should just mean that you'd be all like, oh, you know, maybe I'm going to be a little loud, so maybe I'll quiet down a little bit. And nobody will notice that I'm wasted. But, yeah, he got terminated, and I just cracked up. Oh, but uh, in grand scheme of things, like, you know, I lost that job, and... Uh, I forget why did I lose that job, but oh man, I, I was glad I didn't work there though, because like <laughs> those, those people were like insane with the way that they drank there. And I, I yeah, had never seen that before in my life. That's like pretty ridiculous. Even when I was in the military, I was all like, "Hey, people don't drink like this," you know. Like in my brain, you know, you have a couple of drinks, you're good. Like yeah. people in the military, most of them, you know, have a couple of drinks, you're good. This group of people, like it was about. 40 of us. Oh, and another funny thing, whenever I would sneeze, the whole factory would go, <laughs> they'd all be barking whenever I would sneeze because, you know, my sneeze was loud. And <laughs> man, if you've ever heard me sneeze, it's a really loud sneeze. Yes, but the whole factory would just start barking. Wow. And I was like, what the heck? And they're all like, they're barking at your sneeze. I was all like, why are they barking at my sneeze? Because it was so loud. So, what? <laughs> Like, so then I moved from that company to another company, and uh, I've been at this company now over 27 years. So, like I say, oh, so there's now, not, as, not quite as much drinking going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, uh, as far as I know, nobody gets wasted at the job. But there is a grocery store down the road where they can buy liquor at, but I don't think anybody goes on their breaks to go get liquor, although. They terminated a whole bunch of people on the overnight shift, the third shift, because those guys were leaving, going to the bar, and coming back. <laughs> like they, uh, they, and they all admitted it, which was super funny because, uh, like, they just would leave. They'd be gone for an hour or whatever, come back, driving like bats out of hell in the parking lot, then just come in. You know, I won't say lit, but had had a couple cocktails while yeah. they were on their lunch break. Yeah. So they ruined it for everybody, and they got terminated, all but one person. Mm. So, uh, wow. but yeah, that was a uh, that was interesting times. But I haven't experienced anything like that ever since. Wow, where are we at? We at eighteen minutes. Ooh, big gravy. My stories will be taking up like all day, and it's just funny how they just randomly come up. Like yeah, I don't even are, think about uh, them. You are the story king. <laughs> you always yeah. got something. You've got a story to go with everything that's been taste tested. <laughs> you know, something, something will remind you of something else. And, right, right, right. And, and we're off. Man, <laughs> now that I've uh, taken up all your time, uh, I know I already gave my thumbs up, but I didn't do my outro. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And then subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Big Norm Eight Seven Six Three. If John pours himself another. Dad's new beer for party. No, he's I ain't drunk. <laughs> what you talking about? And then, go ahead and hit that notification bell. You can get notified every time we post a video. And then, go ahead and share. Share with your friends and family. Let them know. Big Norm talked about a story that happened like 35 years ago for about 10 minutes. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. But it was a funny story because people just was crazy out there. I wonder what ever happened to that guy that worked at that job. I wonder if he ever got... Uh, like sober and like you know <laughs> led a regular life yeah really i mean you know or did he drink himself to death is he still alive oh no but the other guy that fell asleep he had been there for like years like decades yeah uh and he was actually a funny looking guy because i always thought he looked like a porn star because he had this really <laughs> thick mustache yeah. and he had this bushy curly hair yeah. and he always wore tank tops tank yeah. tops and shorts and when i started that job it was winter time and he's wearing <laughs> tape tops and shorts in the job. Yeah. But, uh, oh, now that I think about it, now I know why they ran this uh, tow motor into one of the shelving uh, uh, stanchions. Because like, somebody's probably wasted. Back that tow motor up, bam! Almost caused a bunch of the product to fall off the shelves. Although they were packed really solid in these crates. But these yeah. things were like four or five hundred thousand bucks each for these uh, power supplies and for the cell phone towers. Mm -hmm. But that's all. 
in the past. Uh, that technology is all over and done with now. Yeah. That's why that company went out of business. But anyway. Meanwhile. Uh, go ahead and leave us a comment. Talk about let us know, Big Norm. Man, you are so long-winded. You took up 20 minutes of my day <laughs> with this time. video. But at least it was entertaining. All right. Uh, was this one very educational? I don't know if it was very educational. But well, it was a story. You, there was a, a valuable lesson. It was learned. <laughs> don't drink and work at the same <laughs> place at yeah. the same time. But that one guy, the curly-haired dude that would drink the whole pint, he'd be fine. He'd just go back to work. I'm all like, dude, I don't know how yeah, to do that. He can hold his liquor. Woo. All right, y'all. Y'all yeah. know what to do. We'll see y'all later on. Don't Can that dude look up? like Kenny the Jet? Yeah, he does. Looks like a young, a young, young jet. Kenny. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, you did your deuces? I did. Deuces. Out. Later. See ya.